all the way from, and a lot of, I guess, indigenous food and ingredients as well. I've started to use in a lot of my cooking and had in a lot of my recipes and menus when I had my own restaurant. I feel that it's quite important to start to use that in our cooking in this country as well. It's very exciting. It's excellent food, a little bit expensive. So it does, it's often used in more high-end dining, I suppose. Mm. Uh, But yeah, a lot of Indigenous foods becoming more and more accessible now to the general population and for restaurants. So especially in WA, WA's got a, a great culture back there going back thousands of years as far as uh, the indigenous culture goes so that's something i'd really love to explore and we do do some of it in our training and in our practice as well yeah so what sort of ingredients you use this sounds really really interesting oh there's all sorts so we've got salt bush and pepper berries we use a lot of the meats that are only really available in australia as well i mean they're available worldwide now as well but not as readily available things like emu and crocodile and kangaroo and wallaby and then we've got a whole heap of spices and nuts and fruits and stuff as well that are highly prized throughout the world now that can only, that are pretty much only farmed and grown in Australia. And there's quite a few Indigenous companies that uh, I've had communication with. I've done some work up in the Pilbara as well, and so is V, with me up in the Pilbara doing some big functions up there using a lot of the local cuisine and catering to a lot of the local people in that area as well. So yeah, very excited. 